Okay, so this is the project for wire sculpture, which was in the defining volumetric form of line module that was um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, for the description of this artwork, um, this wire sculpture, there are two different main subjects. Um, there is a taller individual, which is um, the man that is looking downward. His back is somewhat arched backward and is standing. The other subject is um, the shorter one, which is the the woman that is in this long, uh, longer, larger gown, and it's flowing backward almost like a train um, for when gowns, they flow backward in what they call a, tra a train, which is like a tail almost. Um, and then for how this piece was put together, uh, through bending the wire in different um, ways to acquire different shapes um, and cutting it to have the the desired length um, and just continuing to shape it in the matter that I wanted it to um, to look after after all the different manipulations of twirling it um, such as in the waist area, um, there's a lot of more coils there as compared to the gown that is uh, a lot more singular, um, a lot less bulky, and it's just individual lines compared to their bodies and especially their uh, the man's head that has a little bit more weight to it and has more um, has more wire that is. Um, almost crumpled up into a ball. As you can see from the shadow, the darker parts that are more clumped together are the head, the waist areas compared to um, compared to the individual legs or uh, the stem or the, the gown. And then um, I decided to go ahead of this piece because there was something, I don't know, there was something uh, alluring to this idea when I started sketching it out, I just was really attracted to this idea of um, it almost looks like almost looks like the woman is falling and the man is like holding her up. Um, there can be many different interpretations as his um, his back is arched backward and and the lady uh, she almost looks like she's falling. And the man has his arm wrapped around her, which is the um, the piece of wire that's extended outward is the arm. Um, so and and I love this picture because uh, it almost looks like they're dancing with their specifically with their shadows. Um, it appears as almost like they're dancing, but my interpretation of it, although it can be different from others that look at this, um, is that. It's almost like the woman is falling into the man and he is catching her. And she has this long dress that's behind her and it's flowing behind her because she is falling. So she is falling into him. And I just love that idea. Um, as to whether it was successful or not, I believe this piece was successful to the point that you can, you can tell what it is and you can somewhat tell the meaning behind it if you take a closer look although I do believe that um, this could have been done better that the forms could have been solidified more with uh, more wire wrapped around the bodies to make it appear like a bulkier um, a, a bulkier just a bulkier art piece instead of it being like a singular line of wire and it leaves more guessing up to the audience um, leaving it to be more subjective. Uh, so it does complete the goal of, of uh, like a couple dancing or, or a woman falling, but it could have been done better um, so the audience wouldn't have to guess as much. Um, and that could have been done by adding more wire um, so that there's less negative space.